Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is a Photoshop Elements 2018 video tutorial. And what I wanted to do with you today is well, we just got done with a comparison video of uh, Photoshop Elements 15 and Photoshop Elements 2018. And I was sitting here thinking, you know, I want to see how well this replace background works under our guided special edits to see how easy it really could be, and, or is it easy? Um, we're going to see how this is going to work out for us. Now, the first thing I could tell you is make sure before you start, go into expert mode, go to your move tool, and make sure this box down here, show uh, bounding box, make sure that is selected. That's going to help with this guided edit because it allows us to see the box that's selecting, and we can move it around a little bit. Let's go back to our guided edit. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to simply start on the replace background. This is the first time I've done this. So we're going to see just how easy it is. So if you're a novice out there and you're saying, boy, you know, I don't think I can do this. Let's see. Maybe it's easy. Maybe it's not. I'm going to select this. This is what we're going to use to replace the background. This is going to be our foreground. So we are looking here to see how this is going to work. And I'm going to just read along with this because, as I said, I've never done this before. First crack at it. So use one of the selection tools to choose the primary subject of your photo. Auto, quick, brush, or refine. I want to do auto. And we're going to see just how this auto is going to work. Click and drag or draw a rectangle shape around your selection. So we're going to use the right here. This is my granddaughter. We're going to select her. Why the photo is so big? We're going to have to shrink it down a little bit, I think. All right. So, <clears throat> let's see here already. Um, we're going to zoom this down a little bit. So we can see the whole photograph here. But already I can tell you that the auto selection tool did not do a very great job. I can see just by our, our little marching ants coming around here what is getting selected. Uh, you can see it didn't get very close to her feet. Uh, this part, it cut off her foot. It looks like it cut part of the tire off. So that's not very good. Um, it cut half this wheel off. So this selection is not very clean at all. Uh, this is something that we're going to have to uh, clean up a little bit. So maybe if we go to the Refine Edge tool, we can see here, it puts a mask on it. You can see what's not selected. So drag across the main subject and then uh, nudge the edges to fine-tune your selection. First, I'm going to make my brush size a little bit smaller. And we're going to see here. How you would clean this up a little bit. Okay, we're going to make this tool a little bigger. So all I'm doing here is painting over top of the mask to try to select what I want to select in here. We can see it's not doing a very good job at all with that. Let's try our brush tool and see if we can't uh, refine some of these edges here a little bit. Let's go back over her arm. It cut her hand off, so we'll go back over her hand. Again, now, it uses it used the quick selection algorithm uh, that it's supposed to be using to make this very simple. Uh, I don't think it's going to make it very simple on us. Um, selections over time has been very difficult anyway. Nope. Just trying to get rid of some of that. Um, get rid of some of this here. Try to make this bigger here. Trying to get rid of some of that. Trying to add that tire in. Uh, bring the tire in here. And yeah, it cut a lot of it off. And 
what it's doing, it actually is looking for tones, is what's happening. It's looking for the different tone uh, colors. And uh, yeah, it didn't do a very good job uh, at all. I'm not really impressed with this. Uh, and that's probably part of the reason why when you watched my video for um, if you should upgrade or not if you're on 2015, probably not because this tool is not uh, super defined, that's for sure. Uh, trying to get around there. Well, that looks a little better. So it's going to take you some time to... Uh, Get your selections right, I can tell you that. Um, go in here, get her shirt in there. Her elbow was totally missed by the auto selection. I really thought, and I told uh, I told my wife when I first seen uh, the video on Photoshop Elements website, I said, man, that selection tool is going to, that's a game changer. Uh, that will make everything so much easier. But in reality... Uh, it's really not making it that much easier. Um, go back to tie a little bit here. Go back to refine and see what we got now. Um, it looks better somewhat. I want to add that. See, it's like... i to add that tire in there. When you're using the refine, it looks like we got a really uh yeah see it's just not hitting it right there so go back here get that tire back in there again so anyway you're going to spend a lot of time doing this uh this is not the greatest tool in the world uh, and again this is the first time using this so we're going to see what it looks like anyway uh All right, I'm going to go for it. So there's my selection. My marching ants is around my subject. Uh, I can see the top of her hair is not really all there. Uh, I'm going to cut the top of her head off. All right, so the next thing it says is import a photo you want to use as the background. It's a new background. Her forehead didn't get picked up here either. Uh, I tell you, this is... Uh, Definitely uh, Photoshop. You did not uh, do your homework on this one. That's for sure. All right. Now I picked out a picked out one here called Flowers, and we're just going to replace this background with the flowers. So, and there you go. So, <laughs> you can see that it didn't uh, I mean, it didn't do a bad job. But if you know if you're really if you're doing this for a client. Uh, you're replacing a background something for a client, maybe a senior photo shoot or something. You're going to have a little bit of a problem there. Um, here's the move tool. So we can move the foreground around. Uh, let's see if we can rotate a little bit. Uh, it looks like you can rotate a little bit. Um, does it make an interesting photo? Sure. I mean, you can replace your background. It's going to make an interesting photo. Um then let's see, you can use the refine edges to soften the, everything up a little bit. You can add, um, you can subtract a little bit. Let's see if we can subtract a little bit down here. I just lost my uh, my brush. I'm going to try to subtract a little bit around here, around the tire. Um, and I guess this is probably where you would go in around her foot. You see how it's masking it out. It's bringing the background back out, which is cool. I mean, that's that's good. Um, right here. Because the idea is when you're replacing the background, get rid of all the background. Look under her arm. And all I'm doing is just uh, painting with my mouse. Uh, and all the painting is actually not adding any color. All I'm doing is, again, bringing out the background. Uh, so it's asking, it, it's acting as a mask. Uh, we've used a lot of mask in my video tutorials. Um, there you go. So first of it doesn't look all that bad. So with a little bit of work, you can do it. Um, you know, I don't know if it's a great time saver. Oop. Well, 
I don't know what that's adding on there. Uh, we're going to add maybe. Add this. There we go. We'll add that. So, yeah, it's not the greatest time saver in the world. Um, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. Take it for what it is. Um, auto color match tone. I don't know what that does. Let's see what that does. Uh, it's thinking about it. So it's trying to compare something here. But, uh, but yeah, this is the uh, easy uh, background replacement tool. Just kind of matches the tones. A little bit of lighting there between the two different uh, photos. And uh, you know, it is what it is. It kind of looks like a, this is interesting though because it kind of looks like she's uh, like she's smaller, right? Riding through a, a field of flowers. Um, I don't know if the move tool will let us resize. Um, nah, just move. I can't resize her. It would be nice to be able to resize. You can actually shrink her down, put her in that photo. That would be pretty neat. Um, and then it works just like as many of the guided edit tools do. You hit the next. You can do a save, a save as, open it in expert mode, play around with it, or share it on Facebook, Flickr, or Twitter. So, I don't know why you share a photo on Twitter. That's kind of odd. Uh, Flickr, I understand, right? A lot of people use Flickr. I still do. I have a pro account on Flickr. Um, and I use it as my, my photo backup, uh, just as that third backup stage. So... Uh, Facebook, we all share to Facebook, right? We all want to get our kids' pictures out there in Facebook. So there you have it. Um, hit done, and uh, it'll take us back out of there. But but that's the guided special edits replaced background. Um, I don't know, folks. Is it a thumbs up or thumbs down? You decide and tell me in the comments. Folks, if you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements from beginning to end, learn all these fun tools in here with quick edits, guided edits, and the expert mode, check out my courses at jtclearning.com. Once again, it's jtclearning.com, where we learn from how to uh, do the basic edits, and we go right into the expert mode, and I teach you what the tools can do for you. So uh, check those out. Till then, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you back here next time on Jack's Tech Corner. Thanks, and bye for now.